Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the construction of the Southern Coastal Highway. We are in 11 miles in Bull Bay and we are looking at the progress that has been made re the construction of the highway. Straight ahead you can see the bridge and that bridge um, was recently built. It is where the highway takes the new alignment and goes over the hill. So to Okay, let's see if we can zoom in to show you more of the bridge okay so this highway is going to run from Harborview in St. Andrew through St. Thomas to Portland to Port Antonio in Portland that's the Southern Coastal Highway phase one project the Southern Coastal Highway phase two project which hasn't started yet but that project is to build a highway from the grid in Westmoreland through St. Elizabeth into Manchester, Mandeville in Manchester. But let's talk about phase one because that's where we are now. So phase one is to build a highway from Harborview to Port Antonio. So the section that we are at now is at 11 miles in Bull Bay. So from the Harborview bridge to where we are now, 11 miles, the highway is going to incorporate the existing roadway. So you see where that car is? Those two cars coming down now, that's the existing road, which is two lanes. Now, if you look to the right, you see where they have cleared the path and they have the marl down. That's where the two additional lanes are going to go. So this is happening from where we are all the way back to Harborview, the Harborview Bridge. It's going to be four lanes straight from here, from Harborview to here. And then straight ahead now where you see the bridge at 11 miles, the highway takes a new alignment. A new road has been built and that new road starts at the bridge. There you can see the bridge. So from this point that we're looking at from the bridge to the Sun Coast Adventure Park, a new road has been built going through the hill. And if you look over here, you can see where the hill they excavated and to build the road. So the road is going, the highway is going to go through there and come out at the Sun Coast Adventure Park. And then from the Sun Coast Adventure Park to Albion Heights, the highway will again run al along the existing road. So the road, that section of the road will go from two lanes to four lanes, just like what you see happening here. And then from Albion Heights to Grants Bend, a new alignment has been built. The highway will then again go through the hills and come out by, it's going to bypass um, Grand Spen, come out just on the outskirts of Grand Spen. And then from Grand Spen to the Yalos Bridge, it's going to incorporate the existing roadway. So that's the alignment of phase 1A. And that's the section that we are looking at now. And then other sections are being built and the highway will reach Port Antonio. And in Port Antonio, it will connect to the Northern Coastal Highway where you can then drive from Port Antonio on the North Coast to Negril. So that highway goes through St. Mary, St. Anne, Trelawney, St. James, Westmoreland. And it goes through all the major towns on the north coast because all the main towns all the capitals for the parishes are on the coast so that is why the highway runs along the coast all right so we're going to go and take a closer look at this bridge now and if we can we will drive over this section of the highway we actually have videos up of driving on this section but sometimes they work on the road and they don't want people to be interfering with them.
and we should point out that this road is not going to be a toll road you don't have to pay to use it it's the same thing with the northern coastal highway you don't have to pay to use that road either highway 2000 is the only toll road in jamaica Okay, so this is a bridge that will take us from 11 miles to the Sun Coast Adventure Park. 